All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So look, man, look, man. As you can see, I'm still on a run. I'm still on a run. But, uh, hey, man, things got to still go on. I know y'all probably like, did he just say he's on a run? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm still on a run. All right, hopefully y'all find out, man, on uh, Halloween. Because I think uh, I got some things that's scheduled to release on Halloween. So <laughs> I couldn't help it, but it just it's just going to be scheduled to release. And y'all going to see them bullshit. So anyway, um, yeah, man. So today I want to talk about an interesting conversation that Joe Buttons and his crew had. Um, I think I think this is something that I love to talk about. Um, and, um, this is very interesting, you know what I'm saying? Cause I want to see how y'all take this and how y'all feel about this before I get into that. You know, I got to get my spill. This is torture talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work on your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash app, PayPal's in the description. They call me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. I'll be a million by Monday morning. Yeah, a million by Monday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, let me know where you're from too. So we're going to get into this clip, man, and we're going to come back and discuss all right, man, look, so let's get into it, man. Let's do it. All right, so let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Reese, uh, Shaq on Andrew Reese's podcast. Yes, please. That shit was crazy. It was. Crazy? Yes, it was fucking crazy. Please, right, please so, expound. Elaborate. So, it's really disappointing, dude. I love Shaq. Um, Shaq out. had Angel Reese... On his podcast? Or no, he no, no, he's on her she podcast. Was on, he right, went on hers. I saw the background, right? He's on her podcast. All right, so uh, that lets me know that you really didn't watch it. Right there. If you don't know who podcast was on who, then you, 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 either you've seen a, a, a small clip of the conversation and you're just judging it off of that. And I'm thinking that's what you did because you didn't even know who was on who podcast because. You didn't watch the whole podcast. Now, that might not take away from your point that you're making. But for me, I just I can't really take what you say serious now because you said that. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously you didn't watch the whole thing. But I'm going to hear you out. I'm going to hear you out. Let's go. And he's talking about, he's being playful, talking about marketing ideas, you know. And he's like, you know, if you would wear those short shorts that y'all wore, that you wore on Wild and Out, your sales would go through the roof, right? That's the basic gist of it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And she's trying to cut them off. And I almost wish we could play it because, like, you got to hear the discomfort. She tries to, like, end the conversation, change conversation. He says it again. And she's kind of like, like, chill. Basically, the vibe is like, chill. I'm just saying. She said chill multiple times. Yeah, she said chill multiple times. So, for me, that is... Okay, <clears throat> this is my question for y'all. How does he say... How did... How... How did she say chill? Did she say chill, 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 chill? You wildin', nigga. Or did she say chill? You gotta chill. You gotta chill. Because that's that is very important. That's very important. Now I know a lot of y'all, y'all look at things through text message lens. With what, what that what I'm what I mean by that is a lot of y'all, y'all go off of telling how people feel through messaging. You don't really know through actually how people actually talk because most of y'all talk through text messaging. So why did you say it like that? Could be saying hi. Let me say, why you say it so aggressive? Well, I just said hi. You know what I'm saying? So we got to ask ourselves, how did she say chill? Because if they're friends, then it could be a bunch of different ways you can interpret that chill. You know what I'm saying? Again, I ain't giving Shaq a pass. I'm just trying to open up the dialogue for everybody on this page to understand why or how chill could be actually said so let's keep it going it was just creepy to me and weird like and i'm not saying shaq had bad intentions maybe he didn't i don't know what's in shaq's brain he seems like a good dude every time i've seen him he's a great dude but he's too damn old for that shit angel reese is 22 she's young young she's young young she's i got young. kids older than angel reese. angel reese is 22 years old shaq is in he's old, way older than me he's in his 50s mm -hmm. you 
Okay, so here's where we're gonna have a conflict. Here's where we're gonna have a conflict. And this is why I say, right? Now, a lot of y'all, for some reason now, is thinking that, let's say, let's just say a 50 year, 50 year old man is dealing with a 25, 24, 25 year old woman. For some reason, everyone think that that's creepy now, right? Because they're trying to say, when you were 25 or 24, this person, or 20, 26, this person was one years old, right? But in the same token, when you flip it around, it seems like society or everybody now is okay with younger women saying they like older men, right? Now I want y'all to follow me on this because this is a big issue because a lot of y'all are being hypocritical. When it comes to women, y'all okay with women dealing with. The age of consent is 18. Me personally, I would never date an 18-year-old. But that's the age of consent, right? Let's be clear here. On both sides, the age of consent when, when it comes to a man is 18 as well. So if a man brought a 32-year-old woman home and he's 20 years old, I don't think that you or anyone, for that matter, if you have an issue with it, ain't going to have an issue with it, with issue with this whole thing. I don't think y'all going to have an issue with it. So, for example, it seems to me like when a younger man deals with an older woman, y'all give him high fives for it. Because y'all look at that as him capturing something of significance. Flip it around. If a young woman was dating a older man, y'all look at that weird. But here's the hypocrisy. If that young woman goes online and says, I only date men that's older, y'all would say, yes, I agree, sis. Yes, I agree. I agree. Because a lot of y'all have this this uh mentality of older men being predatorial and another thing that y'all assign a uh, 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 kind of uh attach this to is older men for some reason we like to control women but here's the here's the craziest part y'all don't say anything about younger women who play games with older men i.e. controlling and then y'all say yeah that's how you're supposed to be so i think the whole thing when it comes to younger women and younger men is kind of weird to me because when you flip it around y'all don't say anything there's plenty of older women who date younger guys and i don't see outrage over that i don't but let's let's keep it going can't be talking to no young girl about her short shorts and which especially when she's uncomfortable and I'm not talking about if you if it's a different situation. But she's uncomfortable when you're too old for that shit. It felt creepy, and I think a lot of old heads should look at that video and realize that that's how we look when we be trying to holler at girls that's, that's, that's younger than our kids. Okay, so let me let me let me let me let me explain that too, right? This is how this is how I know a lot of a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes that I know. A lot of dudes that I know that uh is is uh on his side they lack cr critical thinking skills right and i i totally totally stand by that i i get what he's saying but at the same time he won't have the same energy if that was his son you know what i'm saying if that was his son the son brought home, brought home an older woman he would not have the same energy as that that's number one and i can almost guarantee that that's number one because if he did he would have said if that was for my son too my son can't bring home no older woman if he would have said that if if that was the case. But again, it totally escapes him because he don't really care, right? Another thing too that I noticed is, and and I don't want to sound like no red pill guy or nothing like that. I'm just, just giving y'all the facts. Older men are attracted to younger women. Now, I'm not talking about, let's be clear here because I want y'all to understand because a lot of y'all are, are, are uh, when it comes to this topic, y'all retarded. You know what I'm saying? Older women 
like younger men. Younger men, I mean, uh, 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 older women, I mean, older men like younger women. That's how it goes. Your older women, they like younger men. It's the same thing on both sides. Let me say it again. Older women like younger men, older men like younger women. D do not correlate that with underage. Underage, no. We're talking like if they're in a if they're in a 20, 25, 26, and there's somebody in his his uh 45. Yeah, they like younger women because and and older women who are older, they feel flattered that a young man would want to deal with them. That's how it goes. Let's be clear here, right? But for what he's saying, with with uh the guy is saying, we we uh, uh these guys look creepy. That's what he said, right? He's not really actually digging deep into what the subject or the type that uh what it was about. He just saying he said something about her shorts. Now, let's be clear here. I want y'all to understand this because a lot of y'all, this is the brutal truth. I want y'all to understand the brutal truth. Women, you cannot expect a man. I don't care if he's 85 years old and you're 25. You're 25, 26, 22, whatever. And he's 85. If you walk around him with short booty shorts on, he is going to look at you. That's how it goes. He's going to look at you. The same thing with women. If a man was to walk around with a tight, tight pants on, his junk is showing, and she's 65 and he's 25, she's going to look at him. That's human nature. I wish y'all understand this. That's what it is. It's human nature. Now, regarding Shaq, I don't think, I, didn't, I don't think, that Shaq is hitting on Angel Reese. And I'm going to explain that a little bit further down into the conversation. But let's finish what he's, let's let him finish what he's saying. But I want him to understand that because I can almost guarantee you he watches porn or anything and it has younger women in it. Can't say that he's not attracted to younger women because I can almost guarantee you if that man, look, and again, we're not talking about underage girls. I want y'all to understand this because a lot of y'all going to jump in the comments. Oh, no, 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 we're not. We're not. We're talking about, we're, let's, let's just put it to like this. When I say younger women, I'm saying 18, uh, or not 18, I'm saying 22 and above. How about that? Let's just, let's just, let's just say 20, 21, 22, 23 and above, right? Let's just say that. Because again, a lot of y'all, the reason why y'all upset or mad that older men like younger women because y'all think that there is a a way a manipulative tactic or something that's uh is going to try to get this this man is going to try to use this woman for whatever i don't know what he would use her for if he's successful but for whatever he can control her like a robot i don't know but let's keep it going i saw a lot of young girls tweeting and shit was like i hate when older dudes talk to me it makes Boom. me feel like they, it was a whole bunch of them was just like, yo, somebody gets it. Like, I hate that shit. Like, bro, go talk to somebody else. Like, I, right. You lost me at the end of uh, at the. And, and, and again, I want to speak on that real quick, too. This might be a long one. I'm going to speak on that one, too. Women always talk about how they hate something, right? The hypocrisy of it is y'all online all day with the good night pictures, with the uh, with your cleavage showing, with your ass out, everything out. But yet and still, you're talking about a man. A man should not try to talk to you when you're advocate, advertising yourself. You're advertising. A good portion of you girls online, a good portion of y'all, going that's, and that's the women, even older women, y'all advertise yourselves on your Facebook. That's, what that's exactly what Instagram is. Instagram is a big advertisement. That's what it is. Look at what I'm doing. Look at me. Look at look at how I move. Look at how I live. Look at half of my body. I remember it used to be so difficult for a man to get a picture out of a woman. He used to be like, "Let me send me some pictures." Uh uh, I ain't sending you no pictures. Like, send me some pictures in your in your bra and pink. Uh uh, I ain't doing that. Now you just go on their Facebook. You literally go on their Facebook and they have pictures of themselves in a bra and panties. So there's no way you can sit here and tell me 
that you hate when men try to talk older men try to talk to you when you are when you look like a a, a, a goddess online what do you think you're going to try to do what do you think they're going to try to do you think they're not going to try to talk to you what do you think they're going to do you go to a club and there's older men in the club let's say it's men in there that's there's 38 40 42 41 uh uh of uh, uh, i don't know 49 right and you go to a club you 26 27 and you got on a tight dress you lit up you think he ain't gonna try to talk to you you think he ain't gonna try to talk to you that's exactly what's gonna happen so so all this i hate when older men try to talk to me and y'all go there and y'all seek out men to try to talk to you y'all do it's crazy last part of your statement though which was when older dudes try to holler at a younger girl he not saying he did i'm just saying that's what but that's what we're talking about right was, this second yeah i'm not saying he was trying to holler at this her. is someone that you invited on your podcast mm -hmm. this is someone who on air referred to you as a sister yes so why is it the old guy talking to me in a creepy way trying to hollow or in a way that's making me uncomfortable versus an older athlete who is probably the one of the best at branding and marketing and doing the best doing mm -hmm. commercials Arguably the best. right yeah 100 percent. why is it not that person giving me a great business idea this is exactly what i mean joe buttons just hit it on the head he knocked it out the park you guys lack critical thinking skills how is it that this man who's been her friend who calls her sis how is it that you're saying it, it she never said that y'all some y'all y'all the one said that not joe but the other dude said that she never said he was being creepy and again what was the context of chill because people could cut clips up right chill 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 we know what that is but joe is exactly right why is it that we're looking at it from that point of view and not looking at it from the point of view of what Shaq is saying is 100% correct? If you're on Wildin' Out with shorts on, with your butt out, how come you're on national television with your booty out? And Shaq is saying, well, if you want to make money, if you want to uh, 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 do something or whatever he was arguing or, or, or suggesting to her, he basically saying, well, you need to do what you was doing on Wildin' Out and you can make money. And it's okay. And this is the hypocrisy, and this is the crazy part about it, right? So I'm saying, I know my voice is kind of pitch high, loud, like I'm, like I'm speaking crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not. This is the craziest part about it. Y'all support women who do OnlyFans. Y'all support women who jump online and show their butt and their titties. Y'all don't care about that. But as soon as a man tells you or suggests to you that maybe you should use what you have, because a lot of y'all women always say this. Even y'all mothers tell y'all this use what you have to get what you want how come when a man says it he's creepy why is he creepy why is Shaq creepy for telling you how to brain yourself because you're doing it right now anyway angel reese is running around here she literally i follow angel reese she's a oh my god she's so beautiful she's beautiful angel reese is beautiful she's a very nice looking woman very nice looking right and i can't stress that enough but i follow her you know she, she on her on her Facebook and on her um on whatever I don't know if it's Instagram but I believe it's her Facebook on her Facebook reels or Instagram reels you know what she does I'll tell you what she does she tries on lingerie and she tries on um she tries on bathing suits titties ass all out how you gonna sit here and tell me that Shaq is is a creep when this girl is doing things that is creepy as well that's not creepy to y'all not creepy but you know what i'm saying she's inviting the creep <laughs> you know what I'm saying? if that makes sense she's inviting the creep so it's like what are we talking about here how are you gonna blame something on this man when he listen and, that, and i and i and i hate to say this i hate to say this i hate to say this but it's the truth a lot of y'all y'all just want men to be creeps i'm not saying that men ain't creeps but a lot of y'all want all these men to be creeps every man can't be a creep and just because a man gives you an idea doesn't make him a creep and Joe hit it on the head. Let's keep it going. You can give that idea. I'm just asking a question. You, you, I'm not, you, you can give I, that in a. I don't have can, a horse in this. You can give that in a different way, but I think it's important to read the room too. She was uncomfortable. You see what I mean? This is what I mean. They lack critical thinking skills. They suggest things but don't have a solution. You can give that idea. Okay, what idea? Tell me how. Tell me how because you're saying that he could give that idea. Maybe that's the idea that he thought he was given. Maybe he looked at it like, well, you my sis, I could be able to tell you anything. 
Maybe they maybe they talked about some stuff more. Maybe the only reason why she was saying chill because she didn't want nobody to know. Maybe she was embarrassed about her doing that on Wild and Out. It could be a bunch of different reasons. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I don't want to seem like I'm defending defending uh, 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 bad behavior for some of these older men who who have this idea in their head of taking advantage of younger women. I'm not inv- I'm not uh, uh, defending that. I'm just giving y'all open dialogue about some of these things that a lot of people just close their mind about. You, if you are walking around with booty shorts on, expect to be hit on. That's what it is. And I know a lot of y'all will say, well, I could walk around with a, a sp- with a sweatsuit on and a man is still hit on me because men like women. That's how it goes. Y'all, y'all think that by nature, we are attracted to women. Y'all think that we supposed to be able to turn that off. Just like how you get your period every month and you get angry and emotional, you can't turn it off, right? Well, some of y'all, that's a contradiction because for your boss, you probably turn it But then again, y'all probably won't. Either way, you can't turn that off, right? It's something emotional that comes over you. Again, that's the same thing. So that's what I'm saying. She was not okay with. It. I'm not saying I don't think Shaq was trying to holler at her. I think he looks at her as a little sister yeah, or, and, and treats her as a mentor. And she looks at him as a mentor. But if your mentor is suddenly talking about your little ass shorts, that shit is weird. See, and that's- again, see what I mean? Lack critical thinking skills. He could be. He. They're talking about how how they can make money, right? And he's suggesting to her to do what she did on Wild and Out. And you're saying that he's looking at her. You're the one with the problem, not him. She went on wild and out with some short shorts on. So how is it? How is he wrong for saying, well, look, if you want to make money, do what you did on wild and out. How's he wrong for that? I don't understand that. How's he creepy for that? He can't acknowledge that she did something on wild and out. Oh, no, no one can acknowledge that. Everybody got to be creepy when they acknowledge what a woman does. That's a uh, uh, sexual. We all creepy, right? If a woman does, her, if a woman comes on my Facebook with, uh, with her cleavage out and her breasts all in the camera. She like this, and I say, "Damn, girl, you 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 got your breasts all in the camera." Blah, blah, blah. And you say, "You're just being creepy." Who fault is that? Is it my fault for telling her why do you have your breasts all in the camera? And I say, "Damn, you got your breasts all in the camera," or is it her fault for doing that? I mean, post that in the, in the comments. Who, who fault is that? Who fault is that? Because to me, I think y'all trying to uh, eliminate. I hate to say this, manhood. I think a lot of y'all trying to eliminate manhood, as if men. And, and and I'm not advocating that men can't control themselves because men definitely can control themselves. That's 100 percent facts. But naturally, we are attracted to beautiful women. That's what it is. I don't understand why y'all don't see that. That's where my problem kick in at right there, because y'all know I am super Angel Reese Hive. Like, I don't even speak on something if, if she's not in a, in a proper light. I won't even talk about Good. it. I could have used you last week. Yeah. Yeah. But. With all that being said, one of her biggest critiques about everybody else is that she's being sexualized. What do you expect to happen? Not saying it's right or anything, but you don't see a lot of the other WNBA stars claim that they're being sexualized. You also don't see them the way she presents herself. Yeah, people. That's my point right there. That's my point. Angel Reese constantly post pictures of her in lingerie in bathing suits and y'all saying that she thinks she's being sexualized are you kidding me there's no way angel reese and and i love you girl there's no way you can say that people are sexualizing you when you sexualize yourself like let's be clear here like uh, let's be clear here. like if you you it's like it's like y'all want it's like y'all want to be able to do what y'all want to do and then when someone says something about it, y'all think that they're creepy or wrong for saying something about it. It's like, it's like y'all like the attention, but y'all hate the attention. It's like, in fact, I would put it like this. It's like y'all really want all the attention, but when y'all get it, y'all try to act like y'all don't want it. Y'all hate it. It's like, y'all want to put something on display for everybody to see, but not comment on. Because there's two comments that will really make a girl upset. One of the comments is telling her how 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 sexy she is she'll get mad about that and the other comment is telling her how if she don't look good because those are the comments y'all looking for especially the one to tell you when you don't look good because i could be i could be a nobody 
and I could jump on any girl's post right now and say, I don't like that dress. Or she she put up, post up a dress and say, what you think about this dress? And I get on it and I say, yeah, I don't like it. She'll block me. Who, who asked you? Why you in, why you all in my comments? What's all this about? Because a lot of women, and we told my women today, I want to get, I want to get it to the point where y'all think that I'm coming down on women. Cause I'm not, I'm just, just talking about Angel Reese. A lot of women that in that, that sphere, they like that type of attention, but then when they get it or somebody doesn't like, or they don't hear what they want to hear, they upset about it. So let's keep it going. There is a correlation there. You can't argue about being hypersexualized by society. If you wear things that are basically like, wow, look at me in a sexual way. I disagree. I think that's there is a correlation. That is crazy for you to say you disagree. So you, so you're okay. You, the, the basic, you're okay with the slut walk. You're okay with women who literally do things on purpose to get men to say so. You're okay with women in the gym who bend over and film dudes looking at whatever, right? You okay with women doing things to try to trap men. That's what you're saying. You okay with that. Again, I side with, with was it Ish or uh, Ice? I side with Ice or whatever. Both of them, actually. I side with them on that because, number one, I'm sorry. You should not be able to. You, you could be able to dress how you want, but you should not be mad if someone comments on it. Now, I'm not saying it got to be uh, uh, inappropriate and, and disrespectful about it. But if someone comments, you shouldn't be upset about it. Because that's what it is. And again, women always saying it's given, it's given, it's given. If you dress, let's be clear. If you dress like a whore, you dress like a hoe, you dress like a slut, and you move like a slut, and you always hang with nothing but sluts, what you expect a man to do? You think you if if all your girls are sluts, right? And I know y'all probably gonna give me some pushback on this, but it's the truth. Same thing with men. If all your men are dogs, if all your men out there just bagging girls if that's all they doing what you what 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 do you think that that guy's gonna do you you think you're gonna judge him individually even though he hangs with the same dudes a hundred percent of the time oh you can't judge him because he did it with his friends yes i can i can guilty by association i can because at one point he connects with those people it's the same thing with women if you if you're a woman who has all girls who do nothing but sleep with men for money and that's all they do. Sleep with men for money. Sleep with men for money. And it's 10 of y'all. Two of y'all, right? Could be the exception, maybe. But the majority is that. So if I'm playing a lottery, nine times out of 10, I'm not going to hit the right number. I'm going to hit one of the wrong ones. That's how it goes. And the same thing for men. If you hanging with men who do nothing but use girls, trick them, uh, do whatever, right? You you have to you have to acknowledge that you come from that type of lineage that the, the people you hanging with that's what you come around so obviously this is what you're gonna do again it's an exception to the rule but at the same time you play the lottery nine times out of ten you're gonna probably hit the wrong number it's very rare that you hang with that you meet someone who's been hanging in the clubs every week for two years three years. And on their Instagram, they got booty shorts on and they, and they breast halved out and all this stuff. And every, every they, they on a yacht and all this stuff and all that stuff. And it's very rare that that woman that you meet is just for you. Or the same thing with a guy. It's very rare if you see that same guy in the club and he leaving every week with different girls, he ain't just for you. That's how it goes. However, if I am... 22 years old mm -hmm. and I'm wearing short shorts I should I shouldn't be shocked that there's memes about me I shouldn't be mm -hmm. shocked that there's 28 year old men saying yo Angel Reese blah 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 like, that's all fair game you see what I mean he said I shouldn't be shocked that there's memes about me and I shouldn't be shocked he said 22 if there's a 28 year old man so obviously he has a problem with age gap now maybe he's gonna explain it after this but he has a problem with the age gap and I think that he probably, his wife or whoever his baby mother is, they probably about the same age. You know what I'm saying? They probably about the same age. And he also is looking at his daughter 
and I have to give him that because he's probably looking at, well, his daughter is of this uh, society now. So maybe he's like, well, I see how this is and I'm not going to allow that to happen to my child. So let's see what he says. Because that's what you're signing up for. And there's nothing wrong with women being sexual and showing their bodies. They have a right to do that without right. being mistreated. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, you ha- and, and, and just what he just said, I'm glad he said that. And every man has a right to comment. As long as, they, as long as they're not touching you or being disrespectful, every man has a right to comment. You can't tell a man that he can't comment or he can't say nothing. If you posted something on social media, if you posted it on social media, that means that you are open for a dialogue on what you posted. That's what it is. If any of y'all women, and I'm, and and I'm going to stress this, and I ask this question. How many of y'all women post pictures that you don't want people to see? Answer that question. Because guess what? I can almost guarantee you, everybody, do not post pictures of things they don't want people to see. Y'all post pictures of things y'all want people to see. I'm not talking about... I, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know, I'm just establishing that so later on people don't mm-hmm. say, well, what about... I agree. But a 50-plus-year-old man doing some creepy shit is not fair game just because I'm wearing short shorts. And you have to define what creepy is. That's not creepy for a 50-something-year-old man to comment on a young woman that looks good. That's not creepy. That's not creepy. Again, let me stress it again for all the people that came in late. We're talking women that's 22, 21, 22, 23, 24, and up. We're not talking 18, 19-year-olds, not 20-year-olds. You know what I'm saying? So even if the guy is 60, he's looking at a young woman that's 22 and he's saying to himself, damn, she's fine. It, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Again, I know a lot of y'all probably, oh, like, that's nasty, whatever. But if we flip it around, for all the people that just came in, y'all wouldn't say that it was disgusting for a, 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 50, for a 55-year-old woman to be dating or hitting on a, a 21, 22, 20 year old man. Y'all will actually give him props and give her props. Y'all be like, oh, you got yourself a young man. Because older women tend to not be able to get younger men. That's how it goes. And and on top of that, we speaking facts here. And on top of that, you flip it around. Younger women like older men. But no one says anything about that. No one says anything about the young woman who says she likes older men. Let's keep it going. And just the short shorts. Or, or this ain't no one-time thing. No, I'm saying, it's or my, whatever. That's my point. No, though. no, she be outside, and she, she wears shit and that 22-year-olds wear. she makes sure to show. You see what I mean? You know she be outside. How can you? You still defending her. You still defending her. Not, and listen, I'm not saying she did anything horrible. I'm just saying in this context of the argument, you're still defending her. Even though you know, you said it yourself, that she be outside. Which lets me know that you be looking too, nigga. Y'all all be looking. We all be looking. Don't act like we don't. You know what I'm saying? Don't act like we don't. Off my shit. Yes, but what I'm saying is if... So people so are going to comment on that. Not just that sort of 50-year-old man now is supposed to be blind. No, he's supposed to re- remember that he's a 52-year-old man. But he did that by not sexualizing her and in turn giving her a grand business idea. Uh, uh, and idea a few days market. later, I wish I knew the other young lady's name, the athlete girl. She signed, a, uh, when her sexy pictures went out a few days later, she announced a brand deal. The, J- the girl Jada. This kind of reminds me of the... Uh, the ethic- you see what I mean? It just seems to me like, this is like the pinky in the brain syndrome. It seems to me like whenever a man gives a woman an idea, he's creepy. But whenever a woman takes that idea and do something else with it, then all of a sudden she's the genius. He's a creep, but she's a genius for taking his idea and running with it. Which is which is kind of weird to me. You know what I'm saying? And we and listen, bro, let's be clear here. The thing we know about Shaq is Shaq has some bad jobs. He don't really need to be creepy with Angel Reese. Trust and believe that. He had badder jobs than her. I want y'all to completely understand that. And I think Angel Reese is beautiful, but there was Jones that he had that's a hundred times better than her. So I don't think Shaq was being creepy. Come on now. And they, and they, and they're all athletes. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? 
a deal. Yes. I think her name is Jada. It's kind yeah. of reminds and me she got a deal for the for the for, Ethica. for the gym clothes. Yeah. So what what would be the difference? Hey, it's the same thing we got on uh I want to say that's Bill Maher's ass. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. We With got on Bill Maher's ass for the Hawk to a girl when he sounded like a creepy old man saying, you should start a podcast and transfer your audience and do something with your notoriety. Now- it, 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 y'all got to stop this, this, uh, y'all got to stop this creepy old man thing, right? When it comes to older men giving ideas or talking about younger women. Just because an older man says something or acknowledges that a younger woman is beautiful. And you know another thing too, and I know this is going to sound kind of weird, but I got to say it because I think that it really, it really depends on how you look, right? It really depends on how you look. If you are an old man who looks like an old man and you ran down and you got a beer belly and you got a, a two missing teeth in the front and you, your hair bald in the middle. If you're that old man, you most likely was will will say that he's the creepy old man. But if you look like Brad Pitt, uh, 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 what's his name? Leonardo DiCaprio, Adrice Alba. If you look like them now, all of a sudden, you're not a creepy old man. That's what it is when you look like me. So I look good. Anyway, now all of a sudden, you're not a creepy old man. It's the same thing with women. If there was a woman who, and in fact, you know what? It doesn't even apply to women. Because no matter how old a woman is, if she gets a younger man, she gets championed for it. She gets championed for it. She could be, she could be old. I'm talking like 60. She could be Tina Turner, 65, 70 years old. And if she has an older man, she gets championed for it. Any anyway, when 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 Madonna kissed Drake, everybody championed for it. Everybody was like, "Oh man!" Now imagine if that was imagine if that was a man. Imagine if a man, a older, let's say, I don't know, let's say somebody uh, who's older, Mick Jagger. Let's say Mick Jagger try to uh, kiss uh, Selena Gomez. He would have been the biggest creep in the world. He would have been the biggest creep. This is the hypocrisy that I'm talking about. Mick Jagger was to was to kiss Selena Gomez the way Madonna kissed Drake. It'd have been a big problem, and y'all know that. But let's keep it going. We're almost done. Even a month later, she took his advice. His, her number was, and she crazy. has she has one of the top performing podcasts in the country. Yeah. So. Nothing wrong with giving advice. He, he he sounded to people, including I, I can't say what Angel thought, but I know how she responded. She responded like she was uncomfortable, and the people watching, like like like, 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 like like Ice was saying, the, a lot of the women watching were like, "Oh, I know how that feels. I feel uncomfortable when that happens." We got to take into consideration that what we're doing, regardless of our intentions, is making people uncomfortable. That has to matter. It's like when somebody says some racist shit. It's like, man, that's a that's a stupid argument, and I know it kind of sounds smart, but that's stupid. What we got to do is take into consideration that we're making people uncomfortable. But how about how about you take consideration that you're making people uncomfortable by doing what you're doing, too? It seems like you want to be on one side, but you don't want to you don't want to critique the other side. So how about this? How about this? How about you suggest that women should not wear things that's inappropriate in front of men? How about that? How about that? How about men shouldn't wear things inappropriate in front of women? How about that? How about how about that? Instead of saying you should be able to wear what you want to wear, how about you saying, "Hey, listen," because I'm sure that you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't tell your daughter she should be able to wear what she want to wear in front of in front of creepy old men like you said. How about that? Instead of blaming the men, because it's, it it seems to me like like everybody always have this this uh this sense of pointing at everybody else instead of just pointing at the problem. The problem is what the overall the overall arching problem is the the way someone dresses, whether it's male or female, right? Because if a man come out, he got a six pack, ripped up chest, and he walks out in 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 a, uh in the middle of a uh, I don't know in the middle of a female party, you think women not gonna say nothing? Then they're just gonna be like, oh, and look the other way. No, they're gonna do is just they're gonna do. They always say this: women at female females at strip clubs are ten times worse than men are at strip clubs. Men, you know, throw money. Women, all types of stuff. And again, I ain't trying to make this up into a battle. I'm just trying to point out the hypocrisy 
of what it is. And you know, I know you have to acknowledge it. You have to acknowledge it. There is hypocrisy when it comes to this. But it's almost done. Let's keep it going one more time. I didn't mean it to be racist yet, but if we all felt like, yo, that was some racist shit, you, we might want to think about that. See, Did she, the way, where I shoot Shaq some bell in this, though, kind of go, the word is, uncomfortable has turned into like, yeah, yeah, it has. Oh, uncomfortable is a very, very overused I shoot Shaq. I know exactly what he said, and that's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. That word has become that word he, he, that they bleeped out. And I know what word he said. Greek, you know what I'm saying? The Greek food, you know what I mean? That's what it is. That's what, exactly what it is. It became it became that. You know what I'm saying? And I think that a lot of y'all, a lot of and and, and I hate to say this, I'm 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 gonna I'm 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 let him finish and then I'm, I'm gonna talk. Bell, because he kind of all right. Look, if you constantly gonna be out here showing off, wearing the short shit, showing off, hey, dunk in it. Yeah. Make some money. Off Make that some shit. money off of it. That's now, now. Once she responded and showed that she was visually uncomfortable with that, I would have left it alone. True. Right. True. I, that I, 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 I would have left that, that alone. That. I'm not mad that. at him saying but, that, though. It's like, yo, dog, it's like when somebody tell you, if you're going to be out here shaking your ass and showing, yo, go get paid. But he, pro he, he probably looked at it as an OG that even if you tell you uncomfortable, I'm just telling you what I'm but, telling but, you. And, and you know why? I'm no, you and no one mad at the internet. The internet react without considering people's lineups. Like, Shaq Roster... Don't say to me that he got to be on air trying to bag or make uh, Angel True. Reese uncomfortable. I, I, think, I, I think he's trying. I just said that. <laughs> that's 100% facts. Don't seem yeah, like I don't think he's trying. trying. I think I'm that's agreeing the point. With I'm agreeing with everything But he should be able to recognize that and pivot. That, that's all I'm, that's yes. all I'm saying. Sometimes I'm on. All right. I'm going to see what, what uh, Queens Flip have to say. And then uh, we're going to end this. Cause I know he about to talk. Oh no! Wait, wait, stop! Sometimes the older niggas, when they telling you something, they don't give a fuck how they make you feel. It's just from the area they come from. And that's a problem. That's I, a, I, that's I agree with that. That's, that's a problem. problem. That's not the intent. It's like, yo, I, yo chill, ma. I'm trying to tell you something. You should do this. Can you imagine this? They're I'm just with him to, a little bit. Good advice is good advice. Listen, whether you're comfortable to say with it or not. That's, that's not true. But I have to ask you. Well, first off, who who are you to just volunteer this advice? I didn't chat. What you mean? What the fuck do you mean? Who am I to volunteer this advice? That's like you saying that to Elon Musk. Who the fuck are you to volunteer this advice on how to build this car? What? What? Like I said, some of y'all lack critical thinkers because, and I know he's just asking the question, but yeah, don't yeah. matter. You, you asked me somebody that I, and that's his wait, answer. You that's asked answer. me, and that is my answer. I'm Shaquille O fucking Neal. True, and if I'm looking at you like little sis. Right, because I'm agreeing with everything I said. I think Shaq had great intentions. But if I'm looking at you like little sis, no little sister wants to imagine big bro looking at my ass in the booty shorts. Man, y'all creepy, bro. Now that's creepy. And I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna end it there. Yeah, that was a good episode. Yeah, man. I don't think that Shaq, uh, and I don't think she was looking at it like that. Like, oh well, no, no little sis want to look at. When, when her when her big bro to be looking at her like she in booty shorts. I, listen, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like here's the thing. That's what I want y'all to understand. It works both ways. You can't you can't just say uh, a man should not be able to comment on a on a young beautiful woman if she's dressing like a young beautiful woman. Now Shaq acknowledging her having on short shorts on while and out. Maybe he was giving her suggestion because. Let's be clear here. This is the topic that they did not touch on, right? Although women want to be recognized as men or as athletes as men, and, I, and I'm not saying that they can't be, but a lot of times the reason why entities are successful, unless y'all willing to change this whole thing, is through sexualization. Let's be clear here. I'm there now, and I'm not advocating for it. I'm just giving y'all the facts. The facts is through sexual, sexual uh, gratification or anything, when it comes to women, that's the reason why a lot of y'all are successful. And let's, and you can look at through any and any and every aspect of it, from makeup to hair to eyelashes to nails to clothing, anything that makes you look sexual to a man will make you successful. That's what they're looking for. So 
a lot of times when it comes to the WNBA, the reason why a lot of them don't sexualize themselves because a lot of them are of certain of, of a certain group. That's, let's just keep it at that. And on top of that, they want to be looked at as athletes, as like men. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you have to understand society. Society is one way when it comes to this uh, whole thing of uh, sexualize, sexualize uh, the marketplace of sexuality. You know what I'm saying? I would say. And it's a lot of money into it. And a lot of women, they make money off of it. You know what I'm saying? They do. And some of y'all, when someone give you an idea, it's not that they're being a creep. It's basically saying, well, look at what you're doing and not making money off of it. You might as well make money off of it. If I have a friend who she started an OnlyFans page and she said to me, um, I said, well, what are you going to be doing on your OnlyFans? And she said, well, I'm going to be dressing up and cooking and uh, dressing sexy and cooking. I said, okay, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. I said, well, I said, well, because I seen her on Facebook and I said, um, she always wearing these different clothes. And I said, I said, you should start yourself something where you can make money. And I wasn't suggesting OnlyFans. I was just saying you should go and make money off of doing what you're doing, like start a website or something. And she said, well, then she inboxed me and said, well, I should start OnlyFans because that's what the people are doing on there. And I said, yeah. I said, well, OnlyFans is, is synonymous with sexuality though you gotta understand i mean my sexual sexuality like intercourse i mean what i mean and she says well i'm not gonna be doing that on there so okay come to find out after she started making some money now she started doing things revealing her stuff now she's cooking eggs with no with no shirt on with no bra on you know what i'm saying again and it's, and and I just had to say this. Money talks bullshit runs the marathon. That's just how it goes. And that goes for everybody. Women, men and women. So all right, man. Thank y'all for joining me. Um Yeah, man. We'll see what happens in in the next couple of days. Hopefully, uh things will change, but I'm still on the run. And uh thank y'all for joining me, man. Appreciate y'all, man. I really do. And uh yeah, I'm out of here. See y'all. Peace bye.